1983, David Bowie wanted to get in shape for his upcoming Serious Moonlight tour. He was rehearsing at a studio in Dallas, and a friend recommended Austin boxing trainer Richard Lord. KXAN's John Dabkovich talked to Lord about that first meeting and the unlikely friendship that lasted the next 40 years. I interviewed with him on the day that I got the job, and I actually went in and said, hey, I'm, I appreciate you offering, but I can't do it because you smoke, and I can't do smoke. And he gave me his pack of cigarettes and said, oh, I can't smoke here. Take these. And he didn't smoke from that day on. I never saw him smoke. Was he much of a boxer? On a 1 to 10 scale, when we first started, he was probably about a 3 quarters of 1. <laughs> and we got him up to about a 4. Not bad for a rock star, not though. Bad, not bad, not yeah. bad. You know, but, but he got himself in a lot better shape. I mean, we got up, we'd get up every morning and go running, do our road work. And then he, was, he never missed the gym. He went there every day. What was his least favorite part of working out? Uh, he, I think jumping rope probably. Yeah. <laughs> jumping, but he did it nonetheless. Yeah. But I got pictures in there of us jumping rope. And he looks like he's in a lot of pain. <laughs> I'm probably one of the few guys that, that got away with hitting him and not going to jail over it. Did you ever talk to him afterwards? Oh yeah, he he's been very cordial and he's very uh, genuine kind of guy, and we had a friendship because he would send me a Christmas card every year. Really? And he invited me every time. He came here four times in Austin. And each time he would come, he would call me up ahead of time and set it up for me to come out and have dinner with him and, and see him uh, play. So and, then what was it like when you heard the news about what happened? Well, I was really, you know, heartbroken for him. And I'd, uh, I didn't know he was in as bad a shape as he was because he kind of kept that under wraps. Lord said he brought champion fighter Jesus Chavez to one of Bowie's shows, and Bowie was such a boxing fan, he asked Chavez for his autograph and a picture.